Okay, you have found the point of intersection by graphing two equations. You've also used algebraically substitution when we put two equations equal to each other when they were both in slope-intercept form. Now we're going to work on elimination method. How can we eliminate one of the variables to solve for the other? Now this is a two, two variables, x and y, and both of the equations must always be written in standard form. They must always be written in standard form in order to use the elimination method. Okay, we're going to jump in with two examples, and then I'm going to write out the steps. So example one, we have negative 2x plus 3y is equal to 40. And then we have positive 2x plus 5y is equal to 24. Now we're going to treat this as an addition problem. So when you add a negative and a positive that have the same variable, same value, but opposite signs, you know that you can cancel those out. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a line and put a plus sign. We're treating this as an addition problem. So you want to look to see which variable has the same coefficient, but opposite signs. So if I look at my x's, I have a negative 2 and a positive 2. If I add those two together, those are going to cancel each other out. I have a 3y and a 5y, so I can't do anything there right now because they're different coefficients. So I can add negative 2x plus 2x, they cancel each other out, and they actually make 0x plus 3 plus 5 is 8y equals 40 plus 24, which is equal to 64. So now I've eliminated one of the variables, and now I can just solve for the y. So we know that 0x doesn't even belong there, so we're going to say 8y is equal to 64. Solving an equation, we divide both sides by 8. y is equal to 8. Now remember the key, that the variables have to have the same variable, has to have opposite coefficients, in order to cancel them out and make zero. So right now, we know that the y-coordinate is going to be 8, but we need to find the x-coordinate. So now you need to substitute into one of the two original equations. So I am going to use 2x plus 5y equals 24. I just don't want to deal with the negative up there, so I'm going to use that second equation. So it's substitution. So 2x plus, we know that our y is equal to 8, so that's 5 times 8, which is equal to 24. 2x plus 40 equals 24. Now remember, this is a two-step equation at this point. Move your 40 by adding a negative 40 to both sides, and you will have 2x equals negative 16. Solve, divide by 2, divide by 2, x is equal to negative 8. Negative 8. So my solution would be negative 8, 8. If I was to graph these two equations, that would be the point of intersection that I would find when I, gra when I graph them. Okay, try this one. We have 3x minus 5y equals 17, and negative 2x plus 5y equals 17. Draw your line like it's an addition problem and put in your plus sign. You are reminding yourself that you are adding these equations. Okay, I'm looking at my x's. I have a 3 and a negative 2. So I can't do anything with those two because they have different coefficients. But if I get to my y's, I have a negative 5 and I have a positive 5. So I know that those y's are going to cancel each other out when I add them because they have opposite signs, same coefficient. 
So I can cancel those two out when I'm adding, and that's going to give me a 0y. 3x plus negative 2x is going to give me 1x. And 17 plus 17 equals 34. So that 0y we know disappears because anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So I am left with x equals 34. So my solution has an x of 34, but now I need to find my y. So I think I'm going to try using my first equation this time. So 3x minus 5y equals 17. 3x minus 3 times 34, sorry, minus 5y equals 17. 3 times 34 is 102, minus 5y equals 17. Now, two-step equation. Add a negative 102 to both sides, and we get 5y is equal to negative 85. Now, don't forget, you need to divide both sides by negative 5. Do not leave that negative sign behind. So y is equal to 17. So 34, 17 would be our point of intersection. If we were to graph this, it would be the point of intersection. So let's real quickly write down what we just did. All right, so number one, steps. Number one, look to see which variable can be eliminated by adding the equations. Step two, add the equations. And rewrite as one equation. Step three, solve for the remaining variable. Substitute. into one of the original equation. To get the other variable. And then the last step is to make sure you are writing that solution as an ordered pair. Okay, so you want to make sure that when you're doing this, that you are looking for the coefficient for the variable, and if it's the same number but opposite signs, then you are able to eliminate that variable.